Money friends, it is time to talk about what we have done today to get closer to our financial goals. We are going to be putting money aside for retirement, for the future, and we are going to make three separate debt payments today. That's right, three different payments. I am so excited. Let's get started. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Mary. This is Penny's Not Perfection. It is my little corner of the internet where we talk about money and paying off debt and living a better life by handling our money better and not getting so caught up in all the past mistakes because let's be honest, we all make mistakes with money. But today we are going to be working on the goal that we've been working on this channel for a while now, paying off $43,000 in debt. Last week when we tackled this, we got down to $6,190 and today we're making more progress. So exciting. This is something I do every single week. I call it Transfer Tuesday because I do it on Tuesdays and it has drastically sped up my progress on paying off debt. We have made so much more progress and we've actually done other things as well like saving up our emergency fund, saving up to buy a car in cash. We have just done so much by doing weekly actions toward our goals. Seeing that progress has inspired other people to do the same thing. So some of you guys leave comments telling me what you've done every single week and others make videos. It is something that has grown pretty far and wide and it's exciting to see other people run with it because weekly progress really does help speed up debt payment and savings and all sorts of things. You start looking for ways to find more money and to earn more money and that is something that I've done and it's been awesome. Because it is not just me and it is all of you guys, let's look at the comment of the week from last week because it is so much fun to celebrate your wins as much as my own. The comment of the week from last week is from Live to Live. They said, you're making huge strides. I watched all of the ads because I wanna see you crush that debt. I became debt free last month and the feeling is indescribable. You've got this. Wow, that's amazing, congrats and also thank you. Great, great job. So proud of you. I am just thrilled that you guys are always leaving comments. So make sure you comment down below and tell me what you've done this week. In the past week, it doesn't have to be on Tuesday to get closer to your financial goals. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a question that I keep getting and that is, are you doing Vlogmas? And the answer is, sort of. I am not going to do Vlogmas in the traditional sense of doing a vlog every day in the month of December because I think that would not really go over well and it would probably also kill me. So we are going to do a video a day. Hopefully I am going to give myself the out that I'm pregnant and have a toddler that we are potty training and a lot is going on in life. So if I don't get a video up every single day, I'm gonna like let that be okay. But my goal is to make 31 videos in the month of December and publish them all. So they might not all be on this channel. I do have a second channel and I will be doing some over there but I am going to try to do 31 videos in the month of December. And I'm doing that because of money, obviously. Y'all know I make money on every video. And so let's say I make $25 on average for videos. And that's probably honestly about right because some like this make more money and then others, you know, people don't like them as much at first so I don't make as much. And I'll probably have a couple of vlogs and maybe some day in the lives and those just don't make as much money. So let's say we make $25 per video on the channel when it's published in that first week where you get the most of your views. So if I'm making $25 per video and I do 31 videos in the month of December, ad rates are good, I'm going to get at least $775, maybe more, maybe a thousand, somewhere around that range extra on top of what my old videos already make because they're still getting views. So adding all of that money to the pile of money I'm gonna throw at my debt, next month, the month after when I get that money paid, is a huge deal for me because I'm trying to finish this debt off by January. So that's why I'm gonna try to do videos all month long. And if you have any video requests or want to see anything specifically, let me know in the comments. I will try to get it done in the month of December. All right, let's talk about our money goals and where our money went this week. First, let's talk about the Roth IRA. So my Roth IRA is my most beloved account. I love it so much. It is actually the first personal finance thing I ever did. I opened up a Roth IRA in college when I was working part-time and put a little bit of money in there. So it's been probably my oldest account. I think I have a credit card around the same time when I was first dipping my toes into money and had no idea what I was doing. And those have both actually served me really well, getting started early in good things, along with bad things like taking out student loans was a good thing. 
So I have a Roth IRA and I've never ever maxed it out. And my goal this year is to max it out, which is $6,000. Right now, until my debt is done, I'm doing $100 a week from our salary, from our paychecks. And that's what we're gonna do today. Last week, I was at 40% funded or $2,400. And this week I'm putting in $100. So that $100 brings me up to 42% funded or $2,500. So we've put in $2,500 this year for the 2020 Roth IRA. That means we have 60, like almost 60% still left to go. So we have a lot of room still to put money in there. And I'm pretty excited about it. I do plan to do this and finish it before April, but I don't think I'm gonna finish it in the actual calendar 2020 year. But the great thing about the Roth IRA is you get a little bit of extra time. Okay, now let's talk about the debt payoff. We started at over $43,000 and we are down to $6,190. That was the balance last week. It was super exciting. We had made a huge payment thanks to YouTube and the YouTube ads that I, I got the ad revenue last week and then made a big payment. So that's why, of course, I'm trying to do a version of Vlogmas because that money really does help pay down the debt for us. All of this side income goes straight toward this specific goal until it's done. So we also do $100 every single week from our paychecks, from our salary, and that money is going to be the first payment that we make today. So we're starting at $6,190.97, and then I'm making a payment of $100 from our like regular pot of income, and we are going to be down to $6,094, and that is a nice little number because it's very close to $6,000. So thankfully, I'm making two more payments today beyond just that one. So my next payment is from money that we sold some stuff, sold some stocks, and that is going to be $308. So I am going to make a $308 payment today. That is pretty exciting because I don't have normally bigger payments outside of my YouTube ad revenue. I usually do like little chunks every single week that add up, but this one feels a little bit more substantial. So that's exciting. $308 paid toward the debt today. And that puts me under $6,000. So now the balance is $5,786. We are under 6,000, yet another milestone. It feels like every week or every other week I'm hitting a new milestone of debt payoff and it's so exciting. It is going way faster now than it was before. And that means every week is much more exciting than it used to be. Not every week can be a new milestone and not every week can be big payments. I've had Transfer Tuesdays where I did $5 and that was it or $20 and that was it. So right now I'm in a period where I'm able to do more. And so I'm just pushing as much as I can to do more. And that is what we're gonna do. So the next payment is from some side hustle income. I think it is oh, an affiliate and one of my weekly Etsy payments. I get paid by Etsy every single week. And in 2021, that's something I hope to increase. But for now, it's just been kind of like this little trickle coming in every single week. So I'm gonna put that money toward the debt. It's $68, so I'm making a $68 payment. And that brings our new balance down to $5,718. Woo, that's pretty exciting. I feel like this has been a very successful Transfer Tuesday. It is, of course, not as big as my like once a month huge payment, but it is still exciting. And that is a big chunk of progress. That's several hundred dollars just of debt gone. Yay. Okay, guys, this is the end for me. I am so excited. I have 31 days to make a big dent in this debt before January. And then I have 31 days to make enough videos to get a big payment to finish this off in January. I am pumped about the last 31 days of 2020. I know it's not a great situation for everyone out there, but I hope that in whatever way you can take the last 31 days of this year and make it as good as possible to use it in whatever way you need to make the best of what has been kind of a weird and crappy year for a lot of us. So with that said, Comic Club, if you watch this far, type down below last 31, last 31, last 31 days, and then let me know what you plan to accomplish in the last 31 days of this year. Let's go hard, let's go strong, and let's finish this year best way we can <sighs> the best way we can you know we can only do so much but the last 31 i'm going to try to make the best of it and i hope you do too see you next week for another transfer tuesday